this Power Play series uh, where we discuss why Tata IPL is a preferred choice of platform for brands aiming to drive impact. Today we have with us a very special guest, Mr. Lucky Seni, VP and Head of Brand at Misho, to talk to us about the broadcast sponsorship on Tata IPL 2022. Welcome, Mr. Seni. Thank you, Rohel, and thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to, to share my experiences and, you know, uh, talk about you know, what's in store for us. And, you know, I feel anyways, is like the most exciting time of the year. So can't be better than Absolutely. that. So I will just dive uh, into my first question, uh, Mr. Saini. You know, Tata IPL has returned to home soil and the excitement is through the roof. There's no doubt about it. You can see, uh, you know, what kind of noise it's making all over. You know, people are thrilled that it's back. Uh, give me a sense of what are your thoughts about the mega event as a brand as well as a viewer? I think I'll take the brand uh, angle first. Uh, I don't think, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a better time for a brand to kind of use this opportunity called IPL to kind of get noticed and create mass awareness. So I think as a brand, we are very, very excited uh, for the past few years. I think lots of new additions, 10 teams in the fray, two more teams added. It's happening in one go this year. It's not getting split. Hopefully, you know, things go well. And I think the biggest part, fans are back in the stadium. And I think a lot of the feel and the, you know, the euphoria of IPL is a lot to do with the, it's almost like an entertainment, right? It's like entertainment right. and sports combined for, for a lot of Indians. So I think with all of these three combinations, with fans back in the stadiums, with two more teams or 10 teams in fray, so it's become well-rounded in terms of different parts of India cheering different uh, you know, teams. So as a brand, I'm very, very excited. I think we really want to, uh, you know, really feels very, you know, very good to be a part of this event. And as a viewer, I think personally, I think I am, you know, you are always kind of, you know, cheering for your team. Uh, Rajasthan is my favorite. I, I come from Rajasthan. I think they have built a fantastic team on paper. They won their first match very, very confidently. Uh, so very excited. Uh, I'm also, you know, torn between RCB and Rajasthan. I'm, I've spent many years in Bangalore, so RCB is close to heart. But, you know, unless these two kind of fight each other, I'm I'm really, you know, kicked about the event. And I, like I said, I think now watching IPL is a very different feel, right? With fans in the stadium, will the waves back uh, in the stadium? So a lot of cheering happening. Uh, I think it probably, you know, after two, three years, we have an event which is in full glory. And I think um, this year is going to be fantastic for both brands and I think viewers personally. Yeah. So I think this is going to be bigger than better. Absolutely. You're talking about the fan moment, of course, you're talking to a KKR fan in that sense. So, you know, uh, many online shopping brands in India have leveraged IPL Association on broadcasts to drive brand impact. We all know how they have done it. Now, Misho has come on board as a broadcast sponsor for the mega event for its 15th edition. So, uh, what are the brand's key motivations behind the brand the broadcast sponsor association with, with the mega event this season? I think for us, just as a context, we're the fastest growing e-commerce brand in the country today. And uh, in terms of our value proposition, right, which is the widest selection at probably the best prices, right, one can get. I think we appeal to a very large cross-section of India, right? In, in, in almost every value-focused Indian shopper who is on internet today, right, which is, by the way, a 550 million plus uh, population of India, is who we want to become a preferred shopping brand for. Uh, so I think for us, and we are growing very fast, and if these are the ambitions, right, to become the preferred shopping platform for a billion Indians, I don't think there is a better platform than IPL, right? It is probably Mass India's largest, most favoritist, you know, entertainment come sporting event, right? So in terms of motivation, I think I'll just talk through a few important ones. The first one is, of course, to kind of widen our reach, right? We have been growing. In fact, our e-commerce journey started about roughly about six months back. We were a social commerce app, you know, uh, till about September last year. And I think from then on, it's been a phenomenal growth, right? Uh, today, we are operating 30 plus categories, you know, across board. Uh, so we are like a horizontal platform now. So one of the motivations was, of course, to kind of create very high quality of mass awareness. When I say both are important, I think as brands, we, we need awareness. We, of course, need to build top of mind. At the same time, the quality of it matters too. So the intent of the audiences in the programming that they watch is very important. And I think IPL is one event slash media property where the viewership's intent is quite high. And I don't think people leave. They kind of stick to the match, right? Because short of format, people like don't even probably skip 
too many ads and all that, right? And also as an event, it is far more than an advertising property, right? You have lots of integrations, on-ground possibilities, commentator mentions, a lot of events, contests being run. So I think it's a very good mix of large-scale awareness and a very high engagement that one can create within the event. So that's the motivation number one, which is like really large-scale mass awareness and do that at quality of engagement. Second is our journey was actually, if you look at our journey, it's like we were a very women focused brand till about September, October, because our journey was a social commerce journey. But as we stand today, we are a very horizontal platform, you know, appealing to a cross section of men, women, kids, everyone. And therefore we wanted to create this affinity slash appeal, which is more inclusive. Male or men unlock if I were to call it, is an important lever for us. So I think for us, second motivation is to get that awareness going for us from the male uh, consumer's point of view and create awareness about so many of the options and possibilities of shopping with us. Tata IPL uh, 2022, it just got bigger uh, this season with UP and Gujarat teams uh, you know, becoming part of the, 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 the sleep. So tell me, what are your thoughts about the opportunity now that it presents uh, with the two inclusion of these two two new teams, you know, uh, which also represents massive TV and consumer markets in UP Gujarat for a brand like yours. Yeah, I think it's a it's a it's like a good addition, I would say. Uh, and I think like about five or six franchises were in the fray, uh, out of which two got selected, right? Overall, uh, and I think these open up with new markets, new fan followers, new, you know, new 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 conversations. Like you know, like now our UP opening up is like you know the heartland of India opening up, right? And it's a very very big market. You know, you know, if I combine UP and the adjacent areas, right? So massive market. In fact, UP is also you know in the top five markets for us. Uh, uh, very growing market, uh, both from population strata point of view, also, you know, coming on e-commerce e online point of view. Uh, Gujarat, of course, uh, you know, Western part of India, you know, uh, with Rajasthan already there, now Gujarat being in the fray and then Maharashtra, Mumbai Indians, I think is a big chunk of West now represented in, 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 in the IPL. Absolutely. You know, we also saw uh, recently uh, Misho uh, Super save, save segment on Baiju's uh, cricket live. Uh, can you elaborate a bit on uh, the idea behind the concept and the messaging uh, th that you wanted to put across? It's actually coming from our value proposition. Uh, so Misho, if you've seen our last few months of, uh, you know, communication or brand communication slash positioning, right? Uh, we've, we've stand for the right price or the best price across a wide variety of selections. So, you know, across e-commerce, we provide the probably the lowest or the best price one can get across, uh, you know, a lot of uh, uh, products. So I think we were in a space where we call that proposition sai sai laga hai. So it used to be like, you know, when you come to Misho, and I think the consumers talk like that, right? When you go shop something, you'll say, bhaiya sai sai laga do. So essentially, everybody's seeking for the right value. Everybody's trying to do that because they want to save more and probably buy more things in their budget, right? So predominantly, I think for the value-focused uh, masses and I think everybody there's a lot of people out there who are value focused uh, value focused shoppers I think saving becomes an important part of that so that they can buy more the budget can do more for them right they can buy for the family and all that so I think predominantly because of our value proposition because people ended up saving a lot more I think we kind of looked at the segment and we said hey if we stand for this value proposition I think nothing is better than kind of calling it super saves, right? Because from a cricket point of view, it's like a big deal in T20 to, to save a few runs or, you know, those players are like very valuable. Those moments are very valuable. And from a brand point of view, I think it fits right in because if you shop on Misho, you get such great prices that you end up saving so much. So I think the combination of these two comes together and the segment therefore becomes super saves. So it's like, it's like you know, it works for the brand, it works for the uh, category, it works for... The segment it works for uh, you know content yeah, absolutely so uh, my final question is around you know uh, we've seen many online shopping brands uh, leveraging ipl on tv as a launch pad to connect with consumers and not only for one season for multiple seasons of the tournament will we see uh misho leverage this association in a similar way going forward we're in the long race right and we are in the long haul uh we have a long way to go we've just started our journey like I said, you know, for us to become a brand that's going to be preferred for a billion Indians, and we've just started the journey. We're looking at upwards of 300, 400 million people shopping on Misho in the next few years. I think 
it's almost like we are taking the same journey as IPL took like many years back, right? So I think uh, this association will definitely, you know, be there and we would definitely want to look at next year also strategically. Like I said, it's once in a year opportunity for a brand like us to kind of talk to all of India in the same time, right? I think this is a this is like a match uh, which will which will be there for a few years coming years, and uh, we're personally very excited to kind of uh, you know be entertained through IPL personally as a viewer and also as a brand. I think go just beyond presence, but also take a role of. You know how can we also entertain people with an IPL? So if you, I don't know if you've seen a campaign. If you get time, please yeah. do watch. It's called Areva, and the kind of responses I have received so far, it's hugely entertaining, right? So it just fits the bill right in. So when people see the brand talking, I think it's not just about making a, making them aware of what we do or what we sell, uh, but it's also about how we say that, right? So we have made it very very entertaining and uh, fun. So I think right. as far as we can do that, I think. people should have fun both on ipl and watch me show on ipl thank you mrs sani for joining us on this first episode of par play series where we discuss why tata ipl is a preferred choice of platform for brands thank you so much thank you rohel thank you so much